are again at the River Club for our weekly update. And each week we say we've accomplished a lot, and we have accomplished a lot. If you'll recall last week, we were at this very spot. There was no pergola behind us. All this was just empty. But as you can see, the pergolas did arrive. They have been assembled, they're up. We still have some electrical work to be done. We still have some concrete work to be done and the railings to put in in this area. But we're, we're on schedule for this area. We were a little concerned about the delivery of the pergolas, but they're here. The other thing that we're concerned about is the, are the louvers. We think they're on schedule and uh, we'll see. Hopefully next week we'll have an update on that. But anyway, we're making continue to make great progress and I'm going to turn over to Eric and he can show you exactly what we have done this week. All right, thank you Mr. Merrill. Again, we are here at the uh, beautiful River Club Reimagined and you can see a lot of great progress that have started and uh, we're here right now at the fire pit area. As we mentioned, uh, or Mr. Merrill mentioned, uh, the pergolas have arrived. A couple fine tunings still have to take place. So we, if you see here in the middle, there's going to be a light that goes in the middle. And then if you can see those uh, white strips, those are uh, LED light strips. And then how these things work is um, we can have them closed or halfway open. And then there's rain sensors on there. So if rain's coming, they'll close up completely. Uh, so it's a great uh, technique used uh, for these pergolas. Uh, some last minute things still have to be completed. Obviously, just wanted to kind of get you an idea of what to look like, and obviously you can see some of the furniture. So again, we still have railing that's going to come in here. And then on the front side of the pool area, you're going to have hardy boards. So similar to what we have on the fitness center, that hardy board will be on the front, and then there's uh, wall caps that go over there. And then what you're going to see over here, you can see that we still have rebarb over here. So what we're going to have is uh, a block wall that comes up around the perimeter here and then hardy board uh, that's encased around here. So it's going to be nice and decorative, similar to what you see on our uh, River Club uh, base colors. Uh, so that's going to be the uh, jogging path and then the oyster white. Um, and then you can see that we did put some landscaping in. Uh, two Alexander Palms. Uh, right now we're just starting with annual flowers and then we'll transition to other things later on. Uh, you can still hear the progress right now if you want to come on over. So you can see uh, right above us we've got the fans in. Uh, most of the tongue and groove. The gentlemen are about 99% done. They've just got a little section to do. Uh, lighting's in in this area. Uh, the fans do work in this area, so it's really cool. Um, and then we'll start obviously doing uh, the punch list of some of the uh, things that need to be addressed. Uh, three fire pits, just like we talked about. Uh, railing around the sides and then railing on the ramp as well. Uh, but those are the kind of fine uh, touches that we have to do. Uh, TVs are going to go up tomorrow. Uh, so there's four TVs in this area. And then pretty much the only other thing that Mr. Mayo mentioned, uh, we have the sun uh, louvers that are gonna go there. And then over on the pergola side, there's sun shades that go down here. So if the sun's coming in, uh, we do have sun shades that will drop down on this side as well. So uh, we do have the shade of capability in this area as well. And then uh, let's go inside and show you what's going on in there. We're in the south dining room. Uh, we still have some punch list items to address. Uh, we do have some sound abatement that's going to come in after we open, um, but uh, for the most part, a lot of the things are completed in this area. Uh, we do, like I said, have some temporary. These black chairs are temporary. Uh, they will be replaced probably the uh, 10th of March, um, but uh, it's starting to look beautiful in here. Uh, let me take you out to the patio area, but for the most part, this area is pretty much uh, ready to go and ready to ready for customers. All right, so we're in the patio area. Uh, so we have uh, outdoor dining available uh, over on the new area and then obviously out here. Uh, so if you remember, we did redo all the uh, composite wood here. All this is all brand new tables. 
And then you got a nice uh, view of the river. Uh, if you kind of pan out there, you can kind of see uh, kayaks going down the river. And uh, we obviously have some umbrellas here for shade and uh, it's starting to look really beautiful in here. Let me show you what's going on inside. All right, so we're in the uh, bar area. Uh, a lot of things have been accomplished. Uh, we were just doing some of the punch list items, but uh, our co coke guns are ready to go and ready for uh, service before too long. Uh, you can see that we're already starting to bring in some liquor, trying to get all everything set for this area. Uh, TVs above you, you can see that we're still working on those, but uh, you do have eight TVs in the main area. South dining room, you have one. In the east dining room, you have uh, two. Private dining room, you have one. And then the west dining room, you have uh, four. And then again, outside, you have four as well. So definitely a viewing in all different areas, but it's really coming together. We just uh, got the beer lines all set. Uh, ready for bringing in beer before too long. So it's uh, really looking great. All right, so we're in the West Dining Room. So we did get the uh, TVs up in here. Uh, so you got two in the corner. Well, one's gonna be over there in a minute, uh, but uh, there's a total of four in this area, two on the sidewalls here. Uh, just note that uh, this white uh, is just part of the uh, um, protective coating. That's gonna come out obviously before we open, but uh, Really looking beautiful in there. Got the beautiful river view, and then uh, obviously nice uh, area here. We do have a couple other banquettes that are still waiting on, so there's another piece that's supposed to be in here, but uh, it's really looking beautiful in here. So we're in the uh, east dining room. Uh, we still have some of the TVs that are going up, so they're gonna be uh, two in the corner there, and then one in obviously already in the private dining room. Last things that we're waiting on, that's coming in on the 28th, so the whiskey jugs. Uh, so there's gonna be shelves, uh, two shelves, and then LED lighting on all sections. Um, and they're gonna light up the whiskey jugs. Obviously, we got the cool uh, River Club logo here, established in 1998, so it looks really neat. And uh, let me take you into the kitchen. So I mentioned last week, a couple of things that we needed to address was our um, technical stuff like our point of sales and our printers. So our printers are all in now and our IT stuff is uh, about 95% completed. We do have point of sales at the bar and then in our service station. So it's starting to come together with a lot of the fine tuning items, obviously computers where they need to be in the offices. Uh, so it's really uh, come together and it's really looking great around here. Thanks, Eric, for that update. As you can see, we continue to make a lot of progress. <clears throat> We're still looking at the first week of March, particularly the 5th for, the, for open house and the 6th then open for business. But that's tentative. We have to pass our inspection. That's critical. And you never know what's going to happen when when the inspector comes, but we think we'll be in good shape for the certificate to operate. But uh, so just keep in mind, hopefully the fifth and the sixth, but subject to change. Which brings me to my final point. We have people walking on the site coming in. This is a major liability issue for the club. So please stay off of the site. Uh, that's extremely important. I know you're anxious to see it. So we look forward to the fifth. Hopefully we can achieve that. Do you have any final comments? I uh, just want to mention there was a couple questions of how many uh, nights a week will the uh, restaurant be open for dinner. So uh, when we do open, we do plan on opening uh, six nights a week for dinner. Uh, and then we'll be six days a week for uh, lunch as well. Uh, most likely Monday will be the uh, only day that we'll be closing. Um, but uh, that's the plan and obviously uh, you start to see a little taste of the menu at the Vista dining room right now. We're offering the River Club menu as we transition the team. And then obviously once we are uh, fully open and obviously what Mr. Merrill mentioned as far as our timeline there, that's our tentative goal. Again, we can't really announce completely yet until we get our CC. And once we get that, we'll be able to announce uh, the opening and then transition to the team to offer obviously services here and then also still at the golf club as well. Uh, well, thank you very much, Pelican Sound, and have a great day.